Hey guys and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Down Tough. Today, as you can see, we're going to have a look at the result of the custom map that I made through Gem Playmats, or at least uh, the design that I'm going to send them, uh, as a result of me making that Trace of High Priestess that I put a video up to uh, a little while ago. And I thought I'd show you the end result of what the mats ended up looking like. Uh, I was going to live stream or record the process of me actually making the mat, but it was a lot of trial and error, trying out different color combinations and just figuring all that out. And it ended up kind of being pretty boring footage. So I thought I would just skip to the end, do a quick video to show you the outcome of these two mats. Now, here, as you can see on the screen, we've got uh, High Priestess and Sorcerer is kind of in a gray background. It's just like the Windows default. But it actually ends up being a kind of cool color combination of that gray on black. Um, I kind of played around with that sort of idea of dark colors. Uh, and stuff like that for the mat. So let's quickly have a look at what I ended up with. So let's just bring that all the way on over here. And as you can see, one of the mats, one of the two designs I went with was a pink, sort of fading into crimson red uh, on black ink um, design with Seal of Arcalculus white in the middle, just giving you that really nice contrast. And the reason I went with this color profile was to kind of contrast High Priestess of Prophecy's um, sort of pink hair and that sort of pink light nature of her artwork with the more darker artwork of Summit Sorceress. Uh, so I thought this pink on red mat would end up looking really, really cool. And I hope it comes out really, really well. Uh, I put my order in via Gem Play Mats and uh, we'll see what the end result ends up looking like. When I get that in, be sure to check out the unboxing that I'll end up doing for that. As well, so that was design number one. Uh, this sort of pink on red uh, design. I also kind of like it because I don't have any red playmats currently. Um, the closest I had is I had a uh, red ink on black spellground uh, recently that I ended up selling. So this sort of pink and red is a really different kind of color combination. I think it's going to look really cool as a mat. Uh, so that's number one. Um, do you like it? Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know which of these two designs, the next design coming up next, uh, you'd prefer to see. If you want any of these designs and want me to print extra uh, or get any extra shipped, uh, just shoot me a private message on Facebook, maybe leave a comment below. Uh, we'll work something out. Um, I do have a pricing in mind uh, for both variants of the mat with regards to adding on shipping and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and we can sort something out if you like either of these designs. So anyway, this is design number one. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And let's go on to design number two. Boom, baby! Space! Purple on dark blue with white accents, just white everywhere. Uh, with this kind of space washed out look. Um, I'll zoom in on both of these in a second once I've discussed uh, the sort of design about it but I think this is really cool uh the white really kind of shines and I really like the idea that the white kind of gives it almost the star kind of look which is why in the background you've got sort of that spacey type vibe uh so I really like this uh version 2 I couldn't decide to choose between this uh purple and blue and the pink and red because they're both just so different and so crazy so I thought I'd make two and I've actually gone and ordered this one as well from Gem Play Mats. So we'll see what this one ends up coming, uh, looking like at the end of the day as well. So I just want to uh, zoom in on these a little bit, just so you could see some of the detail. Obviously that's zoomed in a little bit much, but if I zoom in here, you can see it still keeps quite a lot of detail um, with regards to it. Remember, this is much a much higher resolution than what it's actually going to end up looking like on the mat. I think on the mat it'll probably end up looking about this size, which is a good size as far as mats are concerned. You see there's no real pixelation on the mat itself uh, because of the high resolution designs. Uh, so it ends up looking really cool uh, and the pink and red one as well. I think this actually looks even cooler when you zoom in on it uh, just because of the contrast and I feel like the black actually does the artworks a lot of justice. So I am really, really excited guys. Um, again, if you like either of these mats, uh, a, tell me which one you prefer in the comments below, and B, if you like these mats uh, and you want to support me and the channel uh, by maybe picking one up, um, we can sort something out on Facebook. I won't uh, be too expensive, uh, but you'll have to go through me to order them because I've already put these orders in, but I'm sure uh, Brandon and the guys at Gem Playmats won't mind me 
uh, adding your stuff onto my order, uh, adding extra copies of a mat onto my order. So if you like these, let me know. Uh, maybe send me a message on Facebook. Uh, we can work something out. And I'm really stoked with how these designs came out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, I've got a whole ton of Flames of Destruction content coming up in your face over the next week or so. Uh, as everybody's ripping open packs and putting imp uh, infinite impermanences up for sale and all that good stuff. Uh, I've got a bunch of content uh, surrounding that booster set coming out in the next week or so. And then from then on, we're solely going to focus on top sort of 8 to 10 decks you'll probably see at Nationals this year. So stay tuned for that content and I'll see you guys next time.